Hello, hello guys, welcome to Uncomplicated Life. I'm Mona and I'm road trip traveler. The topic of today is, of course, Haivan Pass, but I just don't want to put the videos from Haivan Pass and let you be bored. I want to give you information about Haivan Pass and answer the questions that you might have. And no matter if you've been already in Haivan Pass, or maybe you're planning to go, or you are there but you are not sure uh, where to start, no worries, I'm here to help. And I promise you, after this episode, you will know what Haivan Pass means, where is it located, and how long is it? Can you do Haivan Pass in one day? Is it dangerous? How to travel Haivan Pass? Is it worth is it? Why is it so famous? And how high is it? Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. That's enough. Let's start it. Okay, let's start from beginning. What Haivan Pass means? Hai means the ocean and Van means white clouds. So Haivan Pass directly translates to Ocean Cloud Pass and that is just what it does. Its name refers to the mist that rises from the sea reducing visibility. And that is the explanation for its beautiful scenery surrounded by white clouds. Where is it located? Okay, so where Hai Van Pass is located? <laughs> of course, in Vietnam. So here we have uh, Vietnam, okay? And our Hai Van Pass is more or less in the middle of Vietnam. So let's get closer, let's get closer, don't look at the car <laughs> because it was not other possibility. No, you can actually, 9 hours, but oh, it's not showing, but it's 9 hours by uh, walk if you want to do it. Uh, but Haivan Pass, we have the best road is either way, right? You have two possibilities to go from Da Nang to Hue. Uh, but make sure that you're gonna choose the road through Haivan Pass, okay? Because if not, it's gonna take you this road that you actually don't want it, okay? So from Danang, you going all the way up through this our beautiful Haivan Pass, right? To Lang Ko. To Lanko. Here is Lanko. Uh, promise me that you're not gonna miss this place because this place is crazy. And I'm not joking, it's crazy, it's beautiful. You're gonna be in love. And how long is it? Long enough to get you tired. But you don't really feel that you are tired once you are there. Because your eyes are too busy admire this breathtaking landscape. Haivan Pass is approximately 21 kilometers long. Can you do Haivan Pass in one day? Of course you can. You just have to not fight for your life on the Vietnamese road and make sure that you're gonna go there early. I took a little bit too long to enjoy my breakfast, but at least I wasn't hungry. So my starting point was Hoi An because this is where my homestay was located. And from Hoi An, as I told you before, I went through Da Nang. And in Da Nang, you have this famous golden dragon bridge, which every Saturday and Sunday at 9 p.m. sharp is having fire briefing and water spraying performance, which I missed. And I hope that you will not miss the performance and you're going to share with me your experience. And then you going through Haivan Pass for about 21 kilometers on the twisted road. You sweating, you breathing hard and you want to stop. Actually, you can stop here for a second. But after you need to proceed, you need to continue your journey. You cannot give up because after this is amazing Lang Ko. 
Langko is a village between Lap and Lagoon and the sea and it's known for its tasty seafood and for the long, long white sand Lanco Beach. And I would say your high van pass journey should finish over here. And again, yes, you can do it easily in one day. Is it dangerous? A part of fire, and actually I wasn't sure if that was fire, but definitely something was burning there. So, a part of fire and the weather changes and twisted road now is not dangerous but you need to pay a little bit more attention on the road than usually how to travel high van pass first option you can rent a scooter i rented my scooter in hoi an because there i was based second option is to rent a taxi i mean scooter taxi someone who can drive you through high van pass you can rent a car taxi but you really want to do high van pass by car I don't think so. And you can do it by train, but you're not going to be in the highest point of the Haivan Pass. So which option you are going to choose? Number one, number two, number three, or maybe number four? Let me know in the comment down below. It's worth visit? In my personal opinion, it's more than worth to visit. The landscape over here is unique and definitely you're not going to find something so spectacular anywhere else in Vietnam. Why is so famous? Hai Van Pass is recognized as one of the most beautiful coastal roads. It's a wonderful place for many travelers due to its spectacular and artistic beauty that's stealing everyone's heart. The Haivan Pass is a memorable and highly enjoyable road trip. What's more, it is one of the most accessible and easily rideable roads in Vietnam. And how high is it? Haivan Pass reaches a peak of 496 meters and inclines up to 11 degrees at some points. My lovely people, this is the end of Haivan Pass story. I did my best to make your life easier. See you in another episode. Mwah!